Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett. Uh, Sparky Van Devender is home tonight, but he's absolutely fine. And we are live on location at Harpeth Hall in Nashville for the kickoff of the Tom Lake book tour. And I wanna say a special shout out, thank you to Reese for picking the book. I really appreciate it. I also wanna say that when I grew up here in Nashville, in May, we would do this thing where we would scrub all of the religious statues outside, little girls standing on ladders with scrub brushes, scrubbing the stone statues, and then we would have the crowning of the May. And we would put flowered crowns, Rayanne is nodding in the background, and, and we would sing, do you guys, Andy knows this, Oh Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Okay, forget it. All right, obviously, I'm not playing to my crowd. I just want to say I am feeling branded. That's how I'm feeling with my tote bag and my flower crown and my flower book. And I'm so grateful to everybody at Parnassus for getting this out in the mail and for seeing me through this and I'm grateful in advance America I'm coming to see you and I'm looking forward to it so thank you for all of your support in advance and I just want to give a quick shout out because it is the lay down diaries to my pal Kevin Wilson who has a paperback that sort of matches the whole motif now is not the time to panic really Kevin I think it is here's Lindsay <laughs> Hello, I have some new releases for you. Oh, it's Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. Sorry, I meant to grab a different, oh, no, no, just grab Tom Lake by Ann Patchett again. I'm so sorry. Let me grab it. You can't stop grabbing Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. That's so funny. Um, also out today, we have a couple titles that I'm excited about. We have The Apology by Jim and Han, intergenerational story of a 103-year-old woman dealing with ghosts and family. For some nonfiction, we have The Underworld by Susan Casey. I'm afraid of the bottom of the ocean. I don't think you mess with it unless you're Susan Casey. Then you write an entire book about it. A debut I'm excited about is The Lost Believers by Irina Zorhoff. And another debut that I'm excited about, The Men Can't Be Saved by Ben Perkett. And up next, we have Elise talking to us about events. Yeah, before I talk about events, I do want to mention Tom Lake, okay? I'm gonna sing the second verse of that song that and started, are you ready? Everybody? Really? No, not really. How Elise lost her job at Parnassus Books, I'm not gonna sing. But I will tell you about events because after all, that's my job. But I do wanna mention Tom Lake, it's so wonderful. Please buy one for yourself and 300 for your closest friends. Um, tomorrow night, Chris, Kirsten, Kirsten Chen, she is gonna be at the store tomorrow. So wonderful, this is her book, Counterfeit. New York Times bestselling author, don't miss it. Then next week, Rayanne's going to talk about something next week. And then on Wednesday, we have our Eric Thomas. And I just love this. Congratulations. The best is over. But not yet if you're coming to Anne's event, just saying. And then Thursday, next Thursday, we have Michael Orr. So if you remember The Blind Side, he also played for the Titans. He is going to do a signing. And you can meet him. And he's really kind of cool. So next Thursday. Then, this is the fight that Anne and I had on the last lay down, Who Loves James McBride Moore. This is the Heaven and Earth grocery store, and since she's like far away, I can say, I love him the best. I am the president of his fan club. This is so wonderful. Uh, a ticketed event, and this is next Friday on the 11th, and then, of course, we have story time every Saturday, 10.30. Don't miss it. I hope I see you at all these events. But here now is the Fabulous, Rayanne. Thanks, Elise. It is so great to be here standing next to all of Anne's books to talk about kids and YA books, too. This is one of my favorite weeks because all three Kids Club books come out tomorrow. We have Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. Not only is it the Parnassus next book, but the following week, next week on Tuesday, we'll have an event with Rachel in the store. She'll be in conversation with Erica Waters, and I hope you will come if you're a YA fan. 
This is an amazing romantic fantasy. It's about a girl who is destined to marry the, the son of the mainland governor so they can unite their kingdoms. But guess what? It doesn't quite turn out like that. And not only does this book have a map, look, a map at the front, it's got a beautiful cover. I hope you'll come to the event. For Spark Book Club fans, we have We Still Belong by Christine Day. This is about a girl whose plans for Indigenous People Day don't quite go right, including trying to ask her crush to the dance. But when she makes it to the intertribal powwow with her family, things all turn around. A beautiful picture book that's out tomorrow for Sprout Book Club members this month, I will read to you by Gideon Stirr and Charles Santoso, one of my favorite illustrators. This is a bedtime book about a little boy whose mom reads to him and then he asks her, but what about the monsters? He wants to go out and read to them out in the forest. It is a precious bedtime book that can also double as a Halloween book. And I wanna tell y'all, I am not a rereader, but I got to read The Galley of Tom Lake and then I started listening to the audiobook last week. Was just gonna listen to a little bit of it. I couldn't stop listening. It's so great. Congrats, Anne. I am so excited for you all to read Tom Lake. Thanks for shopping at Parnassus.